Hello, Pisces. Welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network. We're going to get into another reading for you guys. Thank you all so much for being here. Be sure to like the video, subscribe. Anything you need to know is below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for your support and your love of the channel, you guys. It means a lot. And it goes a lot further than what you know, okay? I know it seems like from the outside that things are just hunky-dory and peachy keen all the time, but they're not always that way. So the fact that you guys come out of your heart to love on me, I really appreciate it, okay? Oh, it's going to be a beautiful day, Pisces. It's going to be a beautiful day. Even if it doesn't feel like it, even if you have uncertainties, it's really going to be a beautiful day. So just keep that in your heart, for real. Like, keep that in your heart space. And don't let anybody come in and mess with you or try to change your mind, okay? Anything you need to know is below. Y'all be sure to donate if you can. It's really helpful right now, you guys. Please use the PayPal or Zelle information below if you would like to donate. Let's see, guardian angels, archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God, for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know at this time? journey what does pisces need to know at this time theft what does pisces need to know at this time spirit bad habits what does pisces need to know at this time Jeez, that's a lot of cards we're gonna look at it but i'm gonna put it back new direction dance sad woman and fast movement so if you're feeling sad or down or depressed at all, this is quickly going to change. There's something that's moving really quickly. Um, I feel like there's going to be a quick shift of direction and you're going to be celebrating something. So if you're down about something right now, it's not going to be like that forever. Okay. It feels like something is moving slow right now, but it's about to speed up. Okay. It's about to move really quickly. So just be prepared. What does Pisces need to know at this time, spirit? What does Pisces need to know? Okay, we have fear and anxiety. So there's something that's stressing you out or there's something that's stressing another person out. We have fear and anxiety. Um, but you have journey, theft, bad habits, fear and anxiety. So somebody's worried about their bad habits catching up to them. There could be someone who's trying to steal or distract you. I feel like that could be theft literally, or it could be a distraction. Okay. But there's something that's going to turn around when it comes to like the speed of something moving. Okay. Crossroads and family. So you may have to make a family decision that's stressing you out. You may have to make a decision for your family or for you. That is kind of stressful. I feel like other people are depending on you. And there's a bad habit of having fear and anxiety that is distracting you from the fact that this is a part of your journey. I just need you to realize that. I need you to know that. I need you to know that. Like, don't get me tearing up in here, Pisces. Don't. You're going to make the right choice. I feel like spirit wants you to make the choice that you feel is best for you and your family that feels best for you and your family okay when it comes to the situations that you're experiencing it may feel like things are moving really quickly or slowly but it's like it's kind of weird because I don't know your exact situation. So some of you may be in a situation where things feel like they're going really fast, but actually it's going just at the right pace. Some of you may feel like it's going really slow, but it's going just at the right pace. Okay. What else does Pisces need to know at this time based on what they are dealing with spirit? Ooh, house and change. You guys are moving. You guys are moving to a new neighborhood. It's a better neighborhood. It's an upgrade from where you're at right now. It's an upgraded home. It's an upgraded space. That's what this is. Okay. And I knew this house card. I knew this house card was going to come up, y'all. Like, in my soul, 
I knew it was coming. Okay. I just need to see for you guys. The house card says you have arrived at the fine wrought iron gates of an impressive five-story queen and mansion, which blazes with gas lights. Is it a waning moon or an eclipse Ooh, of the sun? Ooh, okay. Cause it's an eclipse coming y'all. Are we coming for dinner or a ball? The scene is ripe with potential and suspense. Literally, of course, this is a house, home, property, real estate, land dealings, buildings. Abstractly, it represents safety, family, coziness, security. It is the things you hold and that hold you. From this arises the idea of long-term investments of resources and energy. Okay. This card shows a family neighborhood, house, home, or building, real estate in general. It also stands for stability and security. This might be a secure and safe job or a job with real estate. The house can also indicate a solid, strong, and steady relationship. This could be actual house or apartment, home and security or real estate. This is a lucky card when near you, but in the center of a spread, the people who surround it can be dangerous. The timing is approximately six months. So there's something going on in the next six months that could be significant for you in regards to your home. But this is also talking about moving. So it's like packing things up. You're going to have to throw a lot of things away. Don't allow like sentimental things to distract you from what it is that you need to do. Okay. Ooh, and then you have the child card and the expectation. So something is, there's a cycle coming to an end for sure. The child is 18. That's a nine. Change is a nine. And then 28 is expectation. Excuse me, y'all. My bad. My allergies are bad. So you guys are expecting to move to a new place. That's it. Don't let your fear distract you or don't let someone else being negative try to distract you. What else does Pisces need to know? Ooh, despair. Okay, so it may feel like, I feel like you may be afraid of like being left out, being denied. Okay, child again. Some of you are worried about your family being out on the street, being homeless, being left out in the cold or like losing a job. Some of you are concerned about whether or not you're going to get a job, but there's something about your stability and security that you're stressed out about. It's either your work or your home. And I feel like you're worried about this. You have fear, but this is a bad habit that you have. It's like being sentimental about the past is causing you to be kind of negative about the future. But whatever this is, there may be like a person, this official person who you're worried about maybe uh, hiring you or approving you for something. But there's something about stress that creeps in when it, this is a part of your journey. It distracts you from this part of your journey. What else for Pisces when it comes to these messages? Yeah, pathway. Mm. Some of you guys are struggling to see the light at the end of a tunnel. That's eight. That's five. That's nine. Some of you guys are having to make a decision right now. And I feel like you're struggling to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but high honor message of concern. I feel like there is something that uh, there's a communication coming in to you. That's going to open up some type of hope because where you're feeling discouraged and lacking of hope, something is going to come through. There's a message that's going to come through, but I feel like it's shocking, but it's positive. 
and it's providing some type of light at the end of the tunnel. So what spirit is trying to tell you is that whatever this is going on with your job or your house, whatever this is that's going on with your work, your business, your home, your security, your stability, your family, whether it's your immediate family or extended relatives, spirit is telling you not to let fear distract you from whatever's going on because this is a part of your journey. This is bringing you closer to security and stability. Stick to the strategy you've implemented, like whatever strategy that you started off with, don't waver now. I just heard, I just can't give up now. That might be wrong. Come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy, but I know I've come too far for you to leave me. Okay, send the girl a donation, child, okay? We be going to church. <laughs> Listen, you can't give up now. You've come too far from where you started from. Nobody said it was going to be easy all the time, so you got to have courage and strength and discipline. But you also have to know and have faith that God is not going to leave you hanging. You know what I'm saying? Spirit is not going to leave you hanging in this situation. It may feel like it, but that's not that's not the truth. What does Pisces need to know right now when it comes to the near future? Yeah, Six of Pentacles. There's going to be some type of financial increase or finances coming in. I also feel like there could be a contract. There could be a down payment or an investment. Five of Cups, you may feel like you're not going to get this money or you're not going to get approved or you're not going to get this contract or you're not going to get this job, but you are. Whatever is going on, it cannot continue. I feel like whatever you feel like you're losing, whatever you feel like is leaving you behind, it has to stop in order for you to move forward. There's a house in the distance that spirit is calling you to literally, or there's some type of job or stability or something that you have as a goal that spirit wants you to understand that you have the power to move forward towards. There's something hidden that you don't see, or you may be feeling disappointed emotionally, but there's a shift coming that you don't see. There's a shift You're putting in a lot of work towards something and it's going to allow you to have the money that you need to move quickly. But you have to have confidence. You have to have confidence. What's the six of pentacles? If you're experiencing a financial loss, people can't tell or people don't know something about that. It's like something about whatever you're experiencing is more like in your head. And I'm not saying it's not like happening. What I'm saying is like other people can't tell. What's the six of pentacles for what Pisces needs to know right now? Four of pentacles. Right. Three of swords. Ooh, four of wands, five of swords. Somebody could be being really petty. Like you might want to move out. There may be like a roommate situation or something going on with your landlord or something going on with your leasing office or something like that where you're just ready to go, you're ready to move out. But I feel like you're holding on to something that you have to let go of in order to get this four of wands. Some of you just feel like you can't afford something. I feel like some of you feel like you're not going to, you, some of you feel like you're not even going to try because you feel like you're going to get denied or you won't get hired. So, but spirit is telling you not to do that. They're telling you, remember all of those times where you held yourself back four of pinnacles, Ooh, excuse me, feeling disappointed because you weren't sure if you were going to be able to accomplish a goal. So you either didn't try or you gave up. 
But think about right right now, all of those times where you did that. Spirit is trying to get you to see that so you don't discourage yourself, so that you don't give up on yourself. Because there's some type of like contract or company or corporation or something that's going to want to move forward with you. Yeah, and you're just, ooh, I feel like it's going to be a blessing in disguise or, or something like that. Or there's going to be like a silver lining you don't see. What's the six of pentacles with this four of pentacles? The sun. Interesting. So there's something coming to the light. But spirit is basically saying free yourself from whatever you're holding on to. I don't know what that is. It might be stuff. It might be at like physical things with the pinnacles. Throw shit out, Pisces. Now's the time to throw things out. Move on. Justice. Ooh. Yeah, so this is the way things are supposed to happen because it's prompting you to take action because you weren't taking action before. So it's like spirit is lighting the fire up under your ass to do what you need to do. And I feel like you're focusing like they're prompting you to take action and you're focusing on all the negative things and spirit wants you to focus on all the positive things. They don't want you to give up. They want you to keep fighting because this is what turns you into an emperor. This is what turns you into the empress. This is, and, and then they're going to step in and do some things to like finagle. It's like the system is, it's going to be sneaky. I don't know what this is, but Ooh, the magician and the justice card, whatever action that you are taking right now, or just recently have taken, Trying to figure out what to do. What's the right thing to do? The action that you're about to take or the action that you've been guided to take is the right choice. Okay. What's going on around Pisces? What's going on around Pisces? Nine of Pentacles. This could be Virgo energy. Five of Cups and the Six of Swords. I really think that six of pentacles was trying to be in reverse. What's this nine of cups? I mean, nine of pentacles, king of pentacles, the fool and the four of wands. This could even be somebody wanting to be in a relationship with you, but it feels more like work and money and like family, platonic things, personal things, your living arrangements, your job. Somebody's trying to keep as much to themselves as they can. Or they're trying to save as much as they can. Or in order for you to free yourself, you have to save as much as you can, like money-wise. But I feel like this is what's going on around you. So it feels like someone wants like to get rid of a house or they want to free themselves from some type of responsibility. Or they want to free themselves from a physical, like, building or something like that. This may be somebody who wants you to take over for them. What's the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles? The set, I was about to say the Seven of Swords. Ooh. So somebody's lying about what the truth is or somebody's not telling the truth about a contract. The five of cups, somebody lost money here. This could be about another person's family. This could be about someone like having family issues and having to make a decision. And this is what's going on around you regarding this situation. 
There's a sacrifice that someone is having to make and it's a Virgo. Possibly a Taurus or a Capricorn, but it seems like Virgo because the hermit is right here. There's a loss. This is a lesson for someone. And it's some type of higher knowledge. This is higher knowledge and clarity. This is also the truth. I feel like someone's not telling the truth about like finances, but it, it feels like, uh, it feels like someone lost money on an investment and they may not be being completely honest about how much money they lost on this investment. What's the Ace of Swords? What's the Ace of... Oh, thank you. Three of Swords. Yeah. There's some type of disappointment, judgment, and the King of Wands. Yeah, somebody definitely did not get what they wanted. What's the Three of Swords with this Ace of Swords? The temperance, the devil, and the tower. Yeah, there's something that's just falling apart. There's like a lot of destruction. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, I just hit the little thing. My bad, y'all. I'm not sure exactly what this is. But the temperance, the devil, and the tower are all major arcanas. Like this was meant to happen because something was imbalanced. There's a lot of like destruction or there's a lot of loss or someone is like losing their position. I feel like someone is losing a position or losing a contract. This is what's going on around you though. So I don't think it's actually happening to you. I feel like this is happening to someone else. And there's a lot of destruction or something is just falling apart very like quickly or it may be decaying over time, but it's just, just, it's just being destroyed. I don't know if that's a relationship or a physical structure, but this is something that like the universe is causing, like the universe is bringing this about to happen because there's some type of like peace or rest Something needs to be at peace or something needs to rest because there was something toxic. I'm not sure exactly how to explain this to you, but it's like the universe is balancing out some type of imbalance when it comes to a contract or when it comes to like lies that are being told because I accidentally said the seven of swords with the ace of swords. So that means there's some type of lies being told. Okay. About a contract. Yeah. And I just said it. Knight of swords just popped out. There's some type of lies that are being told about a contract or about a job or about a home. And yep, the devil is at the bottom. There's a lot of communication going on, but it's like an illusion. Something is a lie. Yes, ma'am. What's this King of Pentacles doing? What's this King of Pentacles doing? Child, the justice. Trying to balance something out. The Hierophant and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it's about them trying to keep as much to themselves as they can. Like, whoever this King of Pentacles is seems to be greedy. But I feel like they're trying to be fair at the same time. But I feel like they want something to work out more for themselves than for anybody else. What's the justice with the King of Pentacles for what this King of Pentacles is doing? What's the justice and the King of Pentacles? Y'all be sure to like the video. Yeah. Six of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, this person is making a decision that it's like they're moving on from whatever this is. I feel like an investment did not work out the way this person thought 
or something did not work out the way this person anticipated. But there's some type of lies being told when it comes to a contract or communication. And I feel like this could involve something legal, but it could just be talking about legally when it comes to the contract. Um, but this person is making a decision. It looks fair. It looks balanced. Six of Swords could definitely be relocating for work or possibly having to like move on from a job. This person may have lost their job. But it doesn't feel like they, it feels like maybe they're relocating to a different city, state, zip code, country, or something for work. What's the two of wands with the justice? What's the two of wands with the justice for this king of pentacles? The hierophant again. So I don't know if this is like an authority figure or a judge making a decision in court. The strength and the hermit, y'all, listen. My stomach growling. I feel like this person has been consistently holding back information, though. There has been some type of, like, lack of information being given about a situation. And so it's like whoever this person is, is trying to mitigate their losses from a situation. And I feel like they want to preserve as much of their money as they can. They only want to put a little bit into something. That's the nine of pentacles. They only want to put a little bit into something. I also feel like whatever this is is challenging like whatever this situation is maybe was more challenging than this person thought so whatever's going on around you this is an earth sign strong virgo energy possibly taurus who maybe even capricorn but they wanted to take on some type of investment and they didn't anticipate how much it was going to take like this could have been somebody who started a business and hired employees and maybe they um didn't anticipate how many, how much taxes they had to pay or something like that, or how many wages they would have to pay or how much it would cost to pay for insurance and liabilities and lawyers. And, you know, now they're trying to back out and save their money. Excuse me. But there's some type of innocence that I feel like you have in the situation. Like you're not liable but I feel like this person has some type of legal liability. And that's why they're trying to mitigate guilt or they're trying to mitigate loss by preserving as much as possible. What's this nine of pentacles? The eight of wands. So something is picking up speed. Something is moving quickly. Or this person is communicating a new idea or they're trying to present you with a new opportunity, but I feel like they might be slick talking y'all. If you get a red flag from this, I would listen. Yeah. Eight of swords and the eight of wands. So two eights. Um, that would be a August born Virgo. So this person may have been born in August. If they're a Virgo, yeah, possibly the eighth of a month. We saw the eight of pentacles. Yeah, this person is trying to walk away from whatever this is. They don't want, I feel like they just don't, they don't want to work on it. This could even be something like repairs that need to be done. They don't want to fix it. Nine of cups and the page of wands. Yeah.
whoever this is wants to get what they want. It's like they're worried that they're not going to get what they want. So it's like they're trying to like cover their bases. I also feel like they may be trying to stress you out. They're they're like communicating something to like stress you out. But it's like spirit wants you to lean on your intuition and lean on the red flags that you feel because you already know i'm telling you you know how to deal with this or whatever this is what's the sun card for when it comes to what pisces needs to know right now nine of swords see what i'm saying don't worry be happy don't stress about this because it's somebody who wants to stress you out they're stressed out because they're trying to mitigate guilt or they're trying to get out of something without losing money and I feel like they may be trying to stress you out with deadlines that you have to fill, you know, in a weird way. There could have been a contract that was lost. And there goes the justice in the hierophant again. Something in the courts is going to move slow. Because there needs to be an investigation or discovery process or something like that. The two of pentacles and the four of wands. Yeah, there's like this struggle. Free yourself of the anxiety. That's what I feel like spirit is saying. They want you to free yourself from whatever anxiety you have about financial insecurity or job insecurity or home insecurity. What's the nine of swords in the sun card? Six of pentacles. And it's almost going in reverse, y'all. It's like you don't know if you're going to be able to pay for something or not. You're worried about whether or not you're going to be able to pay for something, make a down payment, pay a bill, whatever this is. Six of cups. There's a memory. You're remembering something. Or there's something about the past. That's what I'm saying. That's what I felt with this fear and anxiety up here. Spirit wants you to know that if you focus too much on what happened in the past, Pisces, and you get hopeless about something, it's going to slow down the process. There's something that happened to you in the past when it comes to possibly being evicted, possibly being um, fired, uh, possibly being unemployed, not being able to find a job that was super stressful for you. And it's like bringing up these memories that are coming up now. And it's giving you this anxiety about like whether or not you're going to be able to make a deadline or pay a bill or finish something on time. And spirit is telling you to stop worrying about it. I'm telling you. What's the four of pentacles? The ace of pentacles. The four of wands keeps coming up. So this could even be about a relationship. This could be about a person who's like communicating with you about a divorce or being single. I don't know. This could even be your boss getting a divorce. Like, I don't know what this is. This could be your boss, like breaking up with a business partner or somebody getting a divorce. But it's like somebody's finding out that they're going to have to take some type of loss and they don't want to take this loss. But the truth about this King of Pentacles is coming out when it comes to what they've been saying or what they've been doing. Somebody's been lying or telling lies. And I, I'm not exactly sure in what context, but it feels like that's what it is. And it's about a home or it's about a relationship or a marriage. This King of Pentacles is deciding to get a divorce or they're just deciding to dissolve a company which could cost you your job or they're deciding to like sell a house, which could cost you your living arrangements or property management is selling the house. And then, 
or property management is selling the apartment complex and then your rent could possibly go up like that. That's what I'm feeling. But it's like Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. There's an opportunity that's going to be presented to you in order for you to be able to pay for whatever this is, or there's a job coming. Like if your property management company is selling your apartments, cause this used to happen to me all the time. They would change the name on the apartment. And next thing you know, you're in a whole different building number and your address done change. Your package is getting delivered to the wrong goddamn place. Cause they sell an apartment complex and then they want to go up on the rent. But it's definitely something that you're worried about being able to pay for that you are going to be able to pay for straight up what's the ace of pentacles yeah so stand your ground when it comes to this opportunity or like there's protection from god i swear there's protection from god ten of pentacles knight of pentacles yeah this has been a long time coming so anybody coming at you right now you may be getting a lot of like calls from like bill collectors, toll free numbers. You may even like have a lot of people commuting. Like just say you're an assistant somewhere and this is your boss and they're like having financial trouble with their company. You could be getting phone calls at the job from bill collectors. That's what it feels like. It's a lot of people coming at you, attacking you, but you're being protected You're going to have the money to move to this neighborhood or pay this deposit or whatever this is. What's the six of pentacles up here at the top? What's the six of pentacles up here? Four of cups. Yeah, you're going to have to be, you're going to have to be clever though. There's something clever and creative that you're going to have to do in order to get this money. You may have to rob Peter to pay Paul, child. You may have to uh, uh, make payment arrangements with people. I don't know what this is, but you're going to be able to do it. You just have to be clever about it and put the pieces together. That spirit is trying to give you. Yeah, judgment and the ace of swords. Because there's some type of disappointing communication where now it's like you see the truth or somebody's making an offer trying to compromise with you. And you don't like this compromise. So it's like, maybe you have to come up with a counter offer or you have to come back with a rebuttal, but you're going to have to, you're, you're going to have to like be clever about this. What's the four of cups, 10 of pentacles. Yeah. It feels like a lot of money that you don't have, but it's going to be broken down. You may be able to make payment arrangements on something. It just feels like a, a tall order. It feels like something big. The hermit, again, it's something about this hermit. It's something about investigation, information. It's also something about using what you've learned uh, to get what you want. You have a lot of knowledge that you've gained over the last 10 years, and you just have to put it together. You, It's like you have to combine it all in this situation. And that's what spirit wants you to do. They want you to wake up and realize that you have the answers to whatever this problem or dilemma is that you may be going through. And it's not going to help you to sit around stressing about it. It's truly not. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's going to work with you. Or somebody's going to offer you a contract. I feel like this could even be work. King of Cups, Two of Cups. It's also about finesse, charisma, charis, being charismatic, having riz, charisma. Something, an unusual job or some type of unusual work may be the solution. I feel like there is going to be a celebration. A cancer could come and speak to you about working together. Mm. 
Okay. What's hidden, though? What's hidden that Pisces does not see? Yeah, you know, something about a Cancer, a Masculine, Seven of Pentacles. Somebody may want to invest. Or this could be somebody waiting on you for something. Temperance. The universe is sending somebody towards you. Oh my God. Do y'all hear that rattling? If you do, it's a cat. It's Snowflake. Yeah, okay. I feel like what this is, the spirit is saying, temperance is like balancing things out. You don't see what's coming around the corner. But the universe is balancing things out. I also feel like with this King of Cups, this could be you. I feel like what's hidden is your ability to like stay calm under pressure. Yes, ma'am. What is it? Do you want to come off? They want you to stay calm under pressure. Come here. Come here. Thank you, girl. They want you to stay calm under pressure. Is that what they said? Come on. Whatever, child. Because this waves, these waves are rushing. And they don't want you to, like, get upset. Be patient. Patience is key. But don't focus on the loss while you're waiting. Focus on what you're about to gain. There could also be a water sign masculine that wants to make an investment in you or offer you some type of job because the seven and the three is 10 and the four and the six is 10 and you got the 10 of pentacles out here. All right. What is this? Something is going to be worth your weight or you're being, you're being advised to wait on something or be patient. Spirit is bringing something together. Oh my God. What's the uh, King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles for what's hidden? I know this ain't the Five of Cups. Oh, my God. What is this fucking Five of Cups? Something about seven weeks, seven months. Knight of Swords. So there's communication coming in either about the past or communication coming in about someone from the past or from someone from the past. They may want to give you something in terms of like an apology. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be a Scorpio or a Cancer, possibly a Taurus, but I'm getting like Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus, maybe Virgo, Libra, Gemini. What's this five of cups? Somebody regrets something. <gasps> Queen of cups reverse. This is what's hidden. So if this was you, you would know. But unless you're lying to yourself. But I feel like the Queen of cups reverse. Something about you being unhappy or someone being unsatisfied depressed the tower judgment scorpio energy strongly this could be a scorpio feminine or masculine who's in there like feminine or feeling out of balance somebody all of a sudden may call you upset call you crying it's like going to be shocking or upset or maybe you're going to make this phone call and this person is going to like work with you. Okay. What's the queen of cups reverse five of cups. Some of you may not know that there may be a person from your past that can help you or something about you communicating your feelings may bring some type of solution. What's the Queen of Cups reversed with the Five of Cups? Ace of Wands. 
and the nine of cups. I feel like somebody wants a new start or they want a chance to make you happy or make you satisfied in the situation. I feel like this is contingent upon you speaking up though. Like I feel like this person could call you out of nowhere. So it just depends. But like, I feel like there's somebody who wants a chance. They wish for and desire for a chance to ignite something. The Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like somebody wants a chance to like give you what you deserve or take care of you in a situation or protect you. Cause also with the six of cups, it's about like safety, security, protection. And then the seven of wands is flipped around. Okay. What's the seven of pinnacles? What's the seven of pinnacles? Y'all be sure to like the video guys, the tower. So, It's like contemplation. It's like whatever the shock is that's happening, you got to think about it or somebody has to think about it. High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like your intuition is telling you to do something and you might be questioning it because of your fear and anxiety. I feel like you're not aware that something is going to take longer than what you think, but I don't think that's bad. I feel like it's good because there's something that's going to take a long time. And I was picking that up when we were clarifying over here about the energy around you. There's something that's going to take longer than what you think, but that works to your advantage, which means that if somebody is trying to rush you with this eight of wands, we keep seeing the nine of pentacles over here. So if somebody is trying to rush you, And make you scared that you have to move really quickly to do something. That's some bullshit. You have time. You have at least like 10 months. Because whatever process that happens. Is going to take longer than what this person like. Anticipates. So you could be fearing paying a bill or being able to afford something. Or being able to move or whatever. But in the next seven to eight weeks oh my god this cat the next seven to eight weeks actually honestly let me start over whatever they're rushing you to do is because they're trying to save money right and that's going to benefit them you're being advised not to let this person intimidate you into making a rush decision and uh you know basically shooting yourself in the foot because you may feel like you only have four months to do something but you actually have more like six or seven months and maybe 10 at the most that's what i'm feeling i swear like ace of cups two of pentacles your your spirit team is telling you your intuition is telling you that whatever this tower is you need to examine it more Maybe this is a house that you want to invest in with somebody. You need to examine it more. Maybe it's a business that somebody wants you to invest in. You need to examine it more. Maybe this is you moving or relocating and somebody's trying to tell you that you're going to have to pay a different amount of rent next month. You need to examine it more. I feel like the hermit was talking about educating yourself, yourself and investigating so that you can figure out what you need to do. Or this may be a person that you have that you know in a certain industry that official person card came out earlier. You may have a person in a certain industry that, you know, is able to give you the information that you need regarding whatever situation that you could be dealing with. Okay. What's the tower card with the seven of pentacles? The six of wands. Yes. Yeah, so something coming... Something is being destroyed, but that's good for you. This is a successful tower. This is a tower that's bringing attention to something else.
You're going to be able to successfully navigate this tower if you wait. And you stay calm. Yep, because this five of cups, it's like somebody wants you to get all riled up and upset. I feel like this could also be, I don't know, this could be someone coming back from your past that wants to upset you. This could be someone coming back from your past that wants to apologize for upsetting you. And they may want you to do something that they want you to do by getting you into your feelings and your emotions. And spirit is telling you that you, you should stand your ground and you should not allow someone to, you know, basically cause you to deviate from your calm nature. I feel like someone is feeling lost and you're feeling successful and they want to kind of like take that pain away. And it may not be somebody trying to be malicious specifically, but I feel like this is a person who wants to take the pain away from themselves and they may not know that they're trying to put that pain on you. Some of them may be doing it intentionally. Some of them may not, but you're smart enough and aware enough to realize what the fuck is going on. And that's what spirit wants you to do. What's the three of pentacles? Oop, death reverse. So the six of cups and the judgment. Yeah. So there's a red flag popping up about you. It's like something about you remembering something from the past. Either a person has not changed. Somebody may be offering to work on things from the past with you, but you need to realize that they haven't changed or I feel like in order for something to work out, there needs to be a change that's made when it comes to like what happened in the past or how you did something in the past. Yeah, your intuition is going to tell you that something is not changing or that a person is not changing. Or it's like something you've built and put your time and energy into I feel like something is somebody saying that something is going to change and it's not actually going to change or it's not going to change in the time that they say it's going to change. So you don't have to be in a rush. Like, I don't know what this is. King of Wands and the Strength card. This could be Leo energy or this could just be you taking action or like calming your nerves so that you don't get into a situation that's basically repeating a cycle from the past okay what's the king of cups nine of wands yeah but it's like determination knowing that abundance see this is about spirit do you someone is trying to make you afraid of something for no reason yes ma'am Someone is trying to make you afraid of something for no reason. And spirit wants you to focus on abundance and focus on the fact that everything comes to you when it needs to, the way it needs to all the time. Yep. And the King of Cups again, period. Page of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So there's proof that you're accomplishing your goal. Don't worry. Calm down. Somebody's trying to stress you out. See, look at what I'm saying. This King of Pentacles, I feel like is trying to make you feel rushed or intimidated about something and you don't have to. Oh my God. The time just be flying by y'all. I be trying not to make the reading so long, but goddamn, I can't help it. They want to intimidate you into making a rush decision and you don't have to do that. Because if you rush and make a decision, it saves them money or it saves them time or effort or energy. But spirit don't want you to do this person no favors. Like they don't want you, you don't have to do that just because this person has said so. Pheromones, you're literally attracting what belongs to you. False identity, sweet release, leap of faith, tempting Fake numbers checking on you and warning. Wow. 
woman crying, which could be the queen of cups reverse and then beacon. So there's something that is very upsetting to you and, and, and it's hurtful to you, but spirit is protecting you. I cannot stress this enough. And spirit wants you to know that there's a ray of hope. That's this pathway card. You don't see a way out, but they're about to create a path that you do not see. And it's going to open up. And that's why they're telling you, you have time. You don't have to worry about rushing to do something or whatever time that somebody is trying to put you on. We ain't on that type of time. We on Pisces time, bitch. A way out of a situation, able to stand your ground. That's the seven of wands. So you guys are attracting, y'all are attracting things into your life. With this pheromones card, I feel like you're very attractive. So whatever you want, think about what it is that you want. Don't think about what you don't want. Don't think about what you're afraid of because that's the mistake you made in the past. Spirit wants you to, to communicate and speak and think in a positive way that indicates that you are uh, faithful about what you're attracting. You know that you're attracting something good. This is about you literally feeling like you are going to be left out in the cold, homeless, no job, whatever. And there's going to be something that opens up that makes it not be like that. Somebody has a false identity. Sweet release says still hooking up mostly about sex. Keep your heart safe. Okay. Someone is checking on you from a fake number. This could be the bill collectors I was talking about earlier, but it could also be like, uh, somebody from your past. And also this warning card says your ex could be unstable. In things carefully, protect yourself. Mm -hmm. And then we have stand your ground as well. Somebody is trying to put on this false identity so they can still hook up with you. Leap of faith says, trust your intuition. Jump off the crazy train, make a new life. And then tempting says, missing the intimacy, friends with benefits, recovering from infidelity. So spirit is trying to tell you that even though you may be tempted to work on things with someone, or even though you may be tempted to like take someone's offer or do something someone's way there, whatever they're saying that they're working on or doing, it's not changing. They haven't changed or it's like something is going to take longer than what you anticipate, but whatever delays are going to work out in your favor. There's some type of sudden success that you've been patiently waiting for that you don't see is going to pop off really soon. And spirit is telling you chill out because they're moving things around and whoever's trying to make you afraid and, and cause you to be making fearful decisions. You need to stay away from and trust your intuition in the situation. That's what I feel. Let me just get an advice real quick spirit. What is the advice for Pisces when it comes to this situation? What is the advice? Learning and forgiving. Separation. Oh, my God. <gasps> so there's darkness. There's definitely things you can't see, but everything is moving in alignment because that's 17, which is an eight. Then you have Rebel 22. Do what it is that you want to do. Don't do what people tell you to do. Don't do what you want to do. Don't do what other people want you to do for them. Do what you feel like you need to do intuitively for you because your intuition is going to guide you through this darkness. And even if it goes against the grain or even if it's something that you feel like someone would see as wrong or it's not, you know, fair, like you, you might want to be nice and be fair and look out for somebody, but spirit is telling you don't do that fuck shit right now because this person's trying to take advantage of you. Somebody's trying to come back together with you or get you to do something. And it's like, no. No, 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 no. Learning and forgiving. Learn from the situation. Forgive yourself. Forgive the other person if need be, but do it for you. And then you have guidance. Change your perception. So spirit is trying to get you to change your perception or your perspective about a situation because you're only seeing it from a small window. You don't see everything that's going on. And I feel like that clarity is going to come with time. Okay. Then you have creation, intuition. Don't take the bait, swim away and deception. I'm telling you, <gasps> boy, did I not say it? This, whoever this is wants to trick you and make you feel like you only have a certain amount of options when you have more than one option. And we just talked about this in that other reading. 
We just talked about this. We just talked about this in that other reading where I was set, talking about who to watch out for when we said options. Follow your intuition when it comes to what you're creating because it's going to help you end the cycle and move forward. That's what I have for you, Pisces. Be sure to like the video, subscribe. I love you guys. You're going to get through this. I said it at the beginning of the reading. Do what you need to do. You can find a creative way to get through any situation. And I love y'all. Um, if you would like to donate or contribute to the channel, it is very helpful when you use the PayPal or Zelle information below. It really does help out right now, you guys. If you can, please do so. Also, if you want to book a reading, be sure to click the link below. Subscribe to my other channels, you guys. And most of all, remember, this is our Circle Booze. Bye.